Okay, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Is it on my laptop mic? We good? Previously on Kimba TV. Uh, how many of y'all, how many of you guys were here two days ago when we first started doing TA on the ETH BTC? How many of y'all were here yesterday when everybody was asking, why ETH long? Why ETH long? Uh, we got Mayo, Gethax. Make sure you guys are all caught up on the weekend TA. Everybody good on the weekend TA? Everybody juicing? Everybody better be juicing. Grizzly, what's going on? Mogs, what's going on? No, no, Diabito. Uh, Bizarino says wasn't here the weekend. No worries. Make sure you're caught up on the Discord TA. Sly Rock, uh, make sure that you're caught up on the Discord. Half a milli. Half a milli on the ETH long, you heard me? Half a milli. Yeah, and what'd you think about the weekend TA? What'd you think about the weekend TA? P-O-T, what's going on? Mario says, how is market today in your eyes? Are you caught up on the Discord TA? Make sure you guys are caught up on the Discord TA. If you're asking me, how does the market look? Did you read the Discord post over the weekend? Mario? Exclamation Discord, let's go. Make sure you're caught up. Always long says I got caught up on the discord. We went down for gap fill and had left behind 67 KPOC above us um, No uh, It was actually 66 943 or something like that. So it per pixel perfect to the POC to be honest Crystal Guild Wars says did that rejection at 67 made you close your long crystal Guild Wars. Did you read my discord post though? Hold on, let me stop the music for a second. You guys, uh, Crystal Guild Wars, did you read my Discord post? I don't know how many of you guys are caught up on the Discord. I'm assuming you read, okay. Um, so what was your question again? Did that rejection at 67 major closure along? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you heard Crystal Guild Wars, but I probably, I, I took like 520. I think the at the peak, my uh, ETH long was like 680, like 680K. Um, and I think at the end, I got um, basically stopped out in profit for like 530, 530K, something like that. Uh, Alex says, I remember you said that if we lose 64K, the bull run is over. You think it's still the case? Um, yes, but Alex, you just have to remember that this is like a game of chess. Okay, anything is possible. So like even the, even your word choice of lose 64 i need to know what that means you're t you're talking about eight like two three eight hour candles below 64 right because if a swing fails 64 or if it goes to 63 and it pixel fucks and the swing fails then it might be bullish it depends on how the candles close alex yeah so um yeah it would it would uh depend on how it reacts you know there's still a chance that this could go all the way back. Um, you know that this still could go to like here and then here and then here. You know that? Anything is possible. We got to see the reaction, man. You know that that's possible, right? The good news is I'll be here until market close. So I'll tell you exactly if it looks like ass. Um, Jayski says, can we go through TPs for 67K short? I've got 64.5 or 75% and looking f at 62. I think those are pretty good, Jayskis. Yeah, so here's what I would say. The only thing that I care about for today is do we close below or above 60K or 67K for daily candle close? Um, and so if it... If it closes above 67, 
I would expect it to go to like 68 or 69, high 68s. Expect a bullish retest and then make higher highs. If we close below 67, I would aim for 63. Something like that. Uh, Trader Ivan says CME swept. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, yeah, but now that's like a shitty low. Um, um, Kimba says, Kimba196196 says, so when you say derivatives swept, but traditionals didn't. Okay, so uh, derivatives would be like Binance, Bybit. Traditional would be like, I don't know if you, I don't know when I used it, but Coinbase Spot would be like an example of spot, and then CME would be like traditional finance. Like CME is Chicago Mercantile Exchange, right? <clears throat> um, Adukin says, I'll be sure to tune in every day for profits. Let's go, Adukin! Exclamation, welcome for Adukin. Um... For that to happen, a OI flush would help because it can signal reversal you're mentioning. Okay, okay, beer market, SRS, what's going on? Uh, 196, it's my pleasure. Yeah, so you wanna watch Coinbase? Axel says, do you think outs will drown? Uh, if, Bitcoin, if Bitcoin dumps, then yes, outs will go down. Uh, Chaplin says, please, can I found somewhere where was the ETH long close? Well, what I would do, Chaplin, if I were you, is go back to the Discord post and look at all the levels, all righty, and then go to ETH and then try to see if you can replicate those levels yourself, all righty? It's already too late to go short, Chaplin, FYI. So if, if you're look. At this exact moment, Chaplin, you should be looking for a long. The short is already completed, Chaplin. You're, you're, you're chasing the trade, brother. You need to anticipate. Okay? If you want to get into a short now, you've missed it, Chaplin. You need to be looking for a long. Do you understand that? Your risk-reward for a short is negative now. The only positive risk reward you would have would be a long. So if you want to take a trade, the only thing that has a positive risk reward would be a long. Does that make, do you understand that? If you wanted to take a short, you would have taken it uh, during the weekend when I said that it was going to go bearish. Yeah, so the only trade that actually has a positive RR right now is a long. I hope you can see that. Um, a short would not give you a positive RR. So some people, Chaplin, are going to do something like this. Some people are going to want to get in on that long, and some people are going to want to get in on this long. Alrighty, but other than that, you would already be in a short. Uh, Dog 3000, what about short for potential sweep of those bad lows? But where's your stop loss? Your stop loss has to be up here. So your risk reward is negative. Uh, Living Forest says, if we reclaim 67, would you take another long on ETH? Yes. Uh, so Living Forest, um, you, what you want to do probably is go back and take a listen to how I trade ETH. Okay. Um, First things first, I need the ETH BTC to look bullish if I'm going to take a long on ETH. On any altcoin, I need the altcoin BTC pair to look bullish for me to long it. Yeah, so if uh, Bitcoin reclaims 67, I still have my Bitcoin longs. I still have my Bitcoin longs. Um, but uh, if uh, Bitcoin claims 67 and ETH BTC looks bullish, then yes. Right, Living Forest? I've, I've said this for like the last two and a half years. I'm not going to long ETH or any altcoin unless the altcoin BTC pair looks bullish. I've, I've said that for two and a half years, and it won't be, I'm not going to change that now. Roger that. Yeah, so as long as ETH BTC looks bullish, then I'll take it. But, but you know, if your question is, if it reclaims 67, would you take another long on ETH? No, I would need more. 
Um, what was I going to say? Oh, does it make sense why I was saying the only positive RR trade you have is a long down there? The schwiggity is the schwiggity. We're all looking at the same shit, ladies and gentlemen. The math is the math. Easy money, Bugatti money, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. And, uh, hey, 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 hey. We, we get nasty with the Bugatti? The Bleezy? Blong it for the long it for the bong hit. Uh, DGNR says, would you call that long aggressive since it didn't sweep at lows? Um, no, I mean it depends on if you're bullish or bearish subconsciously. DGNR. Yeah, I mean you definitely don't want to be shorting at that bottom. Um, like I was saying in the morning, the only trade that you could take down there is a long. So if you wanted to take a trade, then the, the only thing you had was a long. Do you remember me saying that? It's more of a, an anticipatory DGNR. Um, you would have already been wanting to, to long it. Uh, you wouldn't be looking for an edge too long. So sometimes people are looking for bullish invalidation. You're looking for bullish confirmation. All right, some people already have a subconscious bullish bias and they're looking to see if the bullish, if any sort of bullishness gets wiped out, right? You're, you don't have a bias and so you're looking for bullish confirmation. So, you know, it's, everybody is a little bit different DGNR, but a lot of it has to do with your subconscious bias. All righty, no one's ever, the data is never gonna be able to convince you. You're already gonna have to go into a bias and you need to have a plan and then the data tells you if you want to do it or not. But if you're completely neutral and you're wanting it to tell you what to do, it's pretty hard. Uh, Alpizi says, what do you think about those highs at 68.7 for targets for long? Yeah, so I think I said it before you came in here, Alpizi. But yeah, that, that would be a target, that Alpizi. So this is how I drew it, Alpizi. Um, this 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 so fuck shut up kimball let's get it kimball was popping. that's the most bullish scenario that you could get lpz i drew that in the morning were you here for it because i i talked a little bit about those highs and whatnot this is what i want to see on the higher time frame Clip it. Yeah, so like, um, I think I said like high 68, 69, something like that, LPZ. Yeah, but first things first, LPZ, let's not get too carried away. We need to um, close the daily above 67. That's all I care about today, LPZ. Uh, Fernands, what's going on, Fernanzi? Hack dogs, I uh, remember you said if we retake 67. Yeah, yeah. If we close above 67, Vishante, remember what I said? Still bullish. Well, shout outs to everybody that was here since the beginning of the day. Hands up if you're in that long from down there. Almost pico bottom, ladies and gentlemen. And then um, y'all heard the conversation about, hey man, you don't really want a bull div when you're looking for a bearish retest, right? We talked about if 67 is, woo, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's too easy. Oh, it's too easy. Oh, it's too easy. Schwiggity, schwiggity. How we doing? You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's it, no, it's a real though. It's gotta be testnet. Chris Doofy says, "I want to kiss you, bro." <laughs> Oh, <laughs> let's go, let's go. 
Hold on a second. So that means, this means that some of you guys, Nazarildo, wait, hands up if y'all took that long down there. So that means that you guys can go ban for ban, right? You guys can go trade for trade. You guys can go ban for ban, M for M, math for math. Huh? You know what? Hold, hold on a second because there's a lot of new lions in here that I think are a little bit confused. So does, is everybody clear on what positions I have open right now? <coughs> Let's just talk about Biddy. Does everybody know what position I have for Biddy? And real quick, what is my TP for that, for that uh, Biddy long? Oh, fuck. I just said what it is. I'm a little bit let us up. Evie pauses. I just got here. Come on, bro. You, you know what my uh, long is. You know what my long is, Evie pause. It's the one from 57.7 and 57.2. I have 25 on, uh, I have 50 on 57.7 and I have 85, 83 on Kraken. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. And what's my TP on that, Evie pause? All I care about is do we get a daily candle close above 67, yes or no? <coughs> uh, Mr. Skitza says, yup, I missed the move this morning just waiting for retest. Oh, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Don't even worry about it too much. But um, are you guys good on like uh, what the Bitcoin plan is? You guys are good on the Bitcoin plan, right? I, nothing has changed. Nothing at new mic? No, I'm on the laptop, the doer. So this is really important for me. I, I don't, like, imagine if we get sh uh, rejected at 67222. I, no mames, you know? All right, we're at the naked point of control. Not that surprising. <clears throat> you guys good? So, uh, I mean... Ev, pause. You you've been around long enough to know. So we were actually talking about this long. Stop loss, lower low, and I and a bunch of lions took it. Some waited waited for the uh, pull uh, retest bullish retest, but it never came. But um, I think word for word, what I said was, if you want to take a trade, the only trade that exists is this long. It's the only one that has a positive risk reward ratio. So, um, yeah, some, some lions are in a long right now, juicing the fuck up. Um, so if you, that's basically like the trade for today. Uh, do you want to talk about TPs and then, um, any sort of like higher time frame stuff? And, and so the higher time frame, you already know EV pause. Right? Still got all the longs rocking and rolling. <clears throat> Any questions, Evie? Pause. So, uh, and I don't know if you're caught up on the Discord, but over the weekend, I said that 67 is a really important level for me. So, if, if we can't get above that, then we're gonna, be, we're gonna go poo poo. If we can get above that, then we're gonna probably make higher highs again. Okay, awesome, Evie, pause. Well, do, do you have any questions, brother? Do you want to talk about anything? Are you in anything yourself? Are you in a short? Do you want to talk about TP and uh, stop loss and TP? Are you in a um, long? Do you want to talk about TP levels? Uh, are you looking for a short? Are you looking for a uh, long? We can talk about that. Um, in the morning, I talked about how my next short would probably be around here. And, and structurally, I would look for something like this. Now, I'm bullish, so I would want it to bounce from there, okay? But, of course, we're going to take it level by level. It could lose, and it, we could still go down. That could be the uh, lower high. Uh, Haran says, I just rewinded the VOD. 10 out of 10 TA, bro. Love how I can follow your TA. Now, let's go, Haran. <laughs> Shoutouts to Haran and all the lions that rewinded. So, is any of this shit... Surprising, Haran. Haran, did you hear the, did you catch the, the part where I said, you know, even if it loses that, I would tolerate said, this volume. Did you hear that part? He just told us to be prepared. So, 
None of this is really surprising to me. All I care about, brother, is if 67 closes above or below on the daily candle close, which is still four hours from now. Okay, and uh, Haran, you saw this? You saw when I was talking about the bullish retest on this? Haran, did you catch on the rewind when we were talking about this? Yeah, so I, I mean, I even said it like 15, um, not 15 minutes ago, but like, I don't know, when did I, did, did anybody hear me say it under my breath? Somebody is going to miss the good long. I was like, yo, some, some motherfuckers is going to miss the long right here. Don't be mad at me. Anyways. It's, it's not, it's coulda, shoulda, woulda. I just want you guys to be able to see it for yourself. I don't really care if you heard me. I don't really care if you're going to take the trade. I don't care if you're going to agree with me. But the math is the math. Um, so as long as, I just want you guys to see it and put yourself in the statistically advantageous spot. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's just planning, y'all. You don't have to really get freaked out. Anyways, 43 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, and then it's Macaulay time, and then I got to get going. So feel free to hit me up with any questions, okay? If I was going to short, I would be looking for 68.5 to 69. That hasn't changed this morning, okay? If you, if you want to TP your, this long, 68.5 to 69. All righty, bullish retests. You guys know what the invalidations are. You guys know what it means to do a pullback to the 3820561. You got to trust the math. All right, Bugama, you already know what it is. Do you guys have any last minute questions? All I really care about is is it going to close above or below 67? Uh, is it going to lose 658? We got fibs, we got volume levels, we got VWAP, we got single prints. All right, CME will be paused during Macaulay Culkin hours. So is it going to gap? And if there is a gap, is it to the upside or is it to the downside? That should relatively guide you on potential uh, scalp shorts, scalp longs. I got a dip in about 16 minutes. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in a long, whether you got filled early in the morning with us, whether you took that volume retest at the 05, whether you were watching the S&P bullish retest of Bo the Bugama, um, everything today has been talked about. So um, any questions? I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, you know, th the TP for the long, 68.5, 69 zone um and then yeah that, that that's probably a good short because i would expect it to do a bullish retest again on 67 higher time frame okay so if you are like missed along i wouldn't really freak the fuck out too much um but like we talked about before exclamation rewind should take care of everything okay um, how many of y'all were here in the morning when I, te when I was uh, talking about if you want to take a trade, the only trade that you have is a long? Um, and regardless of if you took it, regardless if you got stopped out, if, regardless if you got round tripped, how many people at least feel like, dude, I'm doing stop loss on lower low. Fuck that shit. I know exactly what he means. I'm putting stop loss at lower low because even that like think about how many trades you're going to be able to juice moving forward and how many how many of y'all are going to um like think about how much that is worth down the future that could be worth millions to be able to finally make that realization you know so i wouldn't really trip too much about um like getting round tripped you know i would take solace in the idea that you were looking for a long and uh, you had the general direction, but maybe you puss pussyfooted a little bit. And uh, you should have done what the book said and keep it at a lower low. And so that's juice in and of itself. Um, how many of y'all were here, uh, and especially over the weekend, we were t when we were talking about the 
um, 67 zone. Alrighty, how many of y'all were here when we wanted to get the box to be a support, but I said worst case scenario, I would let it, I would let it, to I would let, uh, tolerate a, a, a bullish retest down to the uh, volume level. Alrighty, so we already talked about how, um, you know, ideally that would be, that would have been the most bullish, okay? But it's not going to be the perfect scenario. We got to stop out like the late longer single print grab, et cetera, et cetera. It went to the volume node. So, you know, and then how, I think somebody was asking about this. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. Um, and then um, assuming that, you know, you don't get stopped out, the target for the long would be here. Um, on a higher time frame, I would actually want it to do this. So maybe there's a head short opportunity here. And then whether you are in a mega short here or you're in a long from here, you know, this is going to be pretty interesting. Something like this. Alrighty, always long since on Binance and went to TPO point of control. It did on it did here too. Yeah, I mean we were watching it there. Yeah, we we already called it. We already we we saw that earlier. So exclamation rewind um, should take care of everything. But we talked about all this, so it's not too bad. Everything looks good. I would be you know waiting for here. So if I have a head short here, no one's going to freak out. Yes. If it does this, no one's everybody Gucci. Just in case. All right, y'all. I'm going to switch it back to the uh, VPS. All righty. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you.